Hi guys, uh, welcome to our UK Cell TV channel. Uh, today I'm going to explain how to apply for a UK student visa. Uh, before I explain, uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon uh, so that you can get uh, instant notification of our new upload. Applying for a visa to study in the UK uh, isn't as complicated as you may think. Uh, you need a visa to study in the UK. Uh, most students need a tier 4 visa. Uh, do you, ha you have another type of visa, uh, please contact your university or college. Be aware that uh, you, must be a, you must pay a small fee uh, when, you are, when you are applying for your visa. Uh, you, have, you will be told how and when you know, to pay this uh, when you submit your application. Uh, before you apply for tier 4 visa, uh, you must check your assorted college or university in the tier 4 sponsor list. Otherwise, they will reject your visa. I will show you how to find this list. Uh, you can search in the Google. Uh, type tier 4 sponsor list. Uh, you can see down there, register of licensed sponsor student. Select that one. Uh, you can see the page. A register of licensed sponsor student uh, this that document uh, you can see the register register uh, tier 4 register sponsor uh, you can see all the uh, colleges and universities down there you can easily find out your college and uh, university because that is having alphabetically order uh, then you can make your uh, Tier 4 visa application online or by post. This depends on which country you are applying from. Uh, you can easily find out about this and visa cost uh, from the UK Home Office website. I will show you how to go to the Home Office website. You can type uh, www.ukba.homeoffice.gov.uk you can uh, see the home office website uh, select uh, study in the UK or sponsor a student you can see the type of studies study visa uh, you have to uh, select general study uh, sorry general student visa tier 4 uh, it's having all the details you must know you might be asked uh, to attend an interview as part of your application uh, this is nothing to worry about uh, you will be asked some simple questions about uh, why do you want to study in the UK and why did you choose that particular course uh, be prepared for this and uh, think about what you want to say in advance you must make sure that uh, you include all of the relevant documentation with your visa application uh, you will you will need a uh, confirmation acceptation for studies CAS uh, when you have when you have met all the uh, financial and academic uh, academic uh, condition of your offer the university or college uh, will send this to you uh, via email Secondly, uh, a valid passport. Third, a uh, bank statement. Show you uh, how enough money to meet the uh, financial requirements. You can check the amount of money you need uh, on the UK Home Office website. You, ca you cannot use a company account. The account must, must be your name or the name of your parents and uh, the statement must be clearly showed uh, the money in your account uh, for at least 28 uh, consecutive days uh, fourth one uh, original copies of your qualification the qualification uh, you have to include uh, will be listed on your in your CAS uh, you must provide the uh, original certificate uh, fifth one uh, your English language qualifications uh, if you have to include uh, an English language qualifications, uh, this will be listed on your uh, CAS. Again, you must provide the original certificate. Uh, sixth one, uh, tuberculosis screening test. 
uh, nationals, of, nationals of some countries uh, must be tested uh, to, uh, for the tuberculosis test before applying for uh, UK visa. Uh, you can check uh, if you applies to you on the UK Home Office website. If you have all the required documentation, uh, you can apply for your visa up to three months before uh, your course start. After you applied, it can take a few weeks uh, for your visa to be issued, especially busy time of the year. So you should uh, allow plenty of time to get your visa uh, before the start uh, of the term. If you have any concern uh, or queries during the, during the visa process, uh, please contact the university. Uh, they will try and help as their best they can. Also, you must aware that uh, how much money, uh, what good you can bring to the UK. Uh, you can check all the details on the Home Office website. Uh, if you need any details, uh, you can check Home Office website. Uh, I will. I, I wish all of them uh, good luck. Uh, don't give up. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, uh, please uh, make sure to uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you.